All right, well, let's trash some motherfucking libertarians because I've added up to my fucking ears. I got called stupid last night, legit, because I'm standing here arguing the basic principles that we all understood from the very beginning, right? Labor, supply, and demand. The more labor you have, like, yo, the less the demand is, the lower wage rate you're going to get. And as America's middle class shrinks over time, and I'm sitting here watching the real actual income of Americans go down, and that cost of everything, including housing and transportation, go up, while the rest of the world's saving rates go up and ours goes down, and the ability of us to buy goods in perpetuity being destroyed, I'm standing here wondering why it is that individuals continue to holler how, you know, this idea of fucking neoliberalism, fucking capitalism works. Because it doesn't, all right? Neo-capitalism doesn't fucking work. And I'm going to tell you why it doesn't work. Because basically what they do is they stand here and they print money out of the government to pay for fucking welfare so they can destroy the value of the dollar, right? They, it's really simple. You print money, you destroy the value of the currency. Well, once they're done destroying the value of the currency, everybody goes, oh, no, the prices and, you know, I mean, of goods are going to go up. They go, wait, 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 I got a better idea. How about we stand here and we start manufacturing our goods with slave labor overseas and bring in shit tons of immigrants to continue to make fucking products for us? That way, guess what, man? We can lower the wages at home, control the cost of, you know, I mean, the fact that we're destroying our currency and not having to worry about inflation really ticking up and on top of that it's like yo you can have tvs continue to go down in price wow that's a really good idea right right i mean isn't isn't that like the best idea on the planet legit i mean because i'm getting called stupid for standing here going like yo look you're gonna end up having a socialist overthrow of the fucking government because of the fact that you're pushing more and more people into the fringes in our society. And individuals go, oh, well, it's been shown that better wage jobs have come. Yo, no, they haven't. All right, no, they haven't. When you have 65% of your people, 65% of the kids in this country go to college and come out with degrees and like 70% of them are in social justice nonsense. And you continue to, you know, you have these engineers come out and work for Google and Apple and go, oh, look, man, these people are making $150,000 a year in an area where it costs $3 million for a two bedroom house. This is complete and utter bullshit. Legitimately, this is complete and utter nonsense. I don't understand why it is that like people go, well, Americans haven't had a, you know, I mean, real wage increase since, you know, the 1970s. And technically, you know, I mean, we're not even we're nowhere even near going back to that level. Why is it that you think that we should continue to move down this path? Why do you think this is a good idea? Legit. I don't, I don't really understand this mentality in any way, shape, or form. It just doesn't make any sense. I, I'm, I'm sitting here and I'm, I'm going like, man, look, like, what are we doing at the moment? Why are we continuing to think that this is a good idea? Right? It's obvious. And not only that, like, here's the thing. I'm arguing with libertarians, right? And I'm going like, maybe we shouldn't have the government out here. You know what I mean? I'm enforcing trade throughout the world and using our military as, you know what I mean? It's arm of being able to, you know what I mean? Allow companies to continue to manufacture goods overseas. Maybe we should force these countries to maybe, you know what I mean? Uh, who are standing here continuing to rise up and, you know what I mean? Increase their standard of living. Maybe they should pay for some of this shit. No, no, no. No, no, no. We, we should continue to have the neoliberal world order and continue to, you know what I mean, enforce trade all over the world because that's a good fucking idea. Legit. That is just, it's working perfectly for us at the moment. Legit. It's just, uh, it's, it's magnifique, right? It's doing exactly what it's supposed to do. I mean, while we're spending, you know, I mean, nearly a trillion dollars a year in the military, me and TFM disagree about that. He says it's 680 billion. I say it's a trillion when you add in, you know what I'm saying, uh, the cost, you know I me mean, maintaining our veterans programs and the foreign relations budget where, you know, stand here and hand out the foreign aid to everybody. I, and this is, this is the goddamn problem that I really come down to. You can't sit here and actually look at this and think it's a good idea. Legit. It, it, it just, it doesn't work. It doesn't work in perpetuity. You're going to end up having more and more people fall into the fringes until you have a socialist overthrow of the government. It's that simple. 
right? Because individuals aren't educated well enough to understand that, you know what I mean, it's the government that's fucking them in the first place. Legit. Or how about this? We're going to have more and more immigrants come in until, like, you no longer have a country anymore. That's an even better idea. Like, yeah, let's go. Let's just bring in more immigrants and more immigrants and more immigrants, right? To continue to, I mean, stand here and, um, how do I put this? Oh, yeah. Not allow individuals to uh, stand here and, you know what I mean, have families and support them and continue on the path in which they're headed. Right? I mean, like, yo, did you know that, like, the average income of an individual is determined, like, as a single individual, you will have a high income in a household. But the moment you start having kids, your income drops. Right, it hasn't always been this way. It used to be individuals with kids were the individuals who made the most amount of money. Did you know that the home ownership rates in the United States are continuing to drop? Mm, I wonder why that is. Right, legitimately, I wonder why that is. And I'm standing here going like, oh, this isn't working for everybody. Right, it's, it's not. Legit, like maybe, just maybe, you know what I'm saying? We should force businesses to, you know what I mean, actually manufacture here so that they employ Americans, you know? So like, hey, look, maybe, just maybe, you can show the Fed's inflation here at home, right? It's, it's not that difficult, right? Because if you have to manufacture here, then wage growth goes up, right? And when wage growth goes up, inflation, prices go up and inflation goes up and it shows that your value, your currency is fucking destroyed. And it shows that to the average person. It's that simple. It's that fucking basic. And that's what everybody's fighting against. Right? That's why Trump and all these individuals, you know what I'm saying? They're you know they're not, you know what I mean? That's why everybody's fighting against them as a whole. I mean, you know, the Trump is going to stand here and show what the Fed actually does and destroy shit. That that's how that operates and that's why everybody's fighting against them. But yo, look, I got to get back to work and go make some more money so I can continue to feed into the system to pay for all the parasites and, you know what I mean, continue to watch my fucking country get thrown down the drain because you know what? The neoliberal world order is the way we need to go. Hell yes. You know what I'm saying? That's how the fuck that works. Thank you very much. Y'all like this video. Like, share, and subscribe. Peace.